it's Cricket from the Coat Hangers, and you're listening to Drop the Mic. One more time. Hello all and welcome back to another stunning episode of Drop the Mic. We are your hosts, the Swan and J-Dub, and helping us out tonight we have returning guest, Diego Luna. Hey. I couldn't keep away, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't keep away. Right. I have one question for you, man. What uh, what was it like on the set of Y Tu Mama También? No. Oh, we're going there. Oh, we're going nah, there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> Say hi to Gael for me. I, uh, how was it to make out with uh, Garcia Bernal? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if my red blowjob and, you know, just those heated instances, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, welcome back, everybody. And uh, welcome you, Diego. Uh, thank you, Alec. Like, Thanks for believing like in here. us and, and coming <laughs> yeah. back. This is episode... 86, and we're looking back at a Daft Punk classic. Mm-hmm. But before we jump into uh, one of their first uh, animated feature films, let's get into uh, some pop news. And now for a special news review. Brought to you by Drop the Mic. All right, James, let's toss it back down to you. So Marvel has officially began its um, marketing for Spider-Man Far From Home um, with them launching an official countdown clock until the movie is released, like 230-something days, Mm. 16 hours and whatever minutes and seconds. So it's finished? Uh, Yes, and um, they uh, expect to see a trailer next month during the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie. Oh, okay. If anyone's going to see that, or you can probably just look on YouTube. Real quick, side note, what are your thoughts on that, the Spider-Verse uh, film? It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. Are you going to go I, see it or in the theater? I or? probably will. Yeah. Um, it looks fun. You it's, haven't seen uh, Venom yet, right? I haven't seen Venom. There's a... I'll go ahead and say this because Venom's been out for a while, but there's a Spider-Verse uh, completed scene at the end. Okay. At the very end of the credits. Mm-hmm. So there's a post credit scene, which I won't spoil for you. I'm sure mm-hmm. you've read about it already. And then at the very, very end, it takes forever because there's, you know, all the yeah. fucking special effects names and shit. Uh, there's a Spider-Verse, like, complete scene from oh, okay. the film. So nice. If you're into that. Get a little um, extra before I see it. Check it out, yeah. Yeah. Um, so check that out if you want to see uh, when the movie's actually going to come out. You can actually watch a countdown. Um, and also uh, Brie Larson, who was playing Captain Marvel in uh, one of Marvel's next movies, mm-hmm. uh, she has expressed some interest in playing uh, Samus the, from the Metroid games. Oh, okay. And um, Boss Logic actually posted up some concept art of her. Of, of her. As the character, and uh, she actually, I don't know if she retweeted it or commented on it, and she, 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 all she said was, uh, thanks for making my dreams come true. But wasn't, wow. wasn't it... Uh, it was kind of like, like uh, um, was it was like a side true. shot of her face, and then like a, the, like a mask kind of like... I wonder how they would do that, because uh, the... Um, the, most of the game, you don't know it's a female. Yeah. Right? I didn't know it was a female until, like, I was... In like middle school, like or kind of like a fucking uh, Zelda, yeah. yeah. When it just like blows your fucking mind, yeah. Like what? All these years? (laughs) What? (laughs) Yeah. No, but um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, I I guess she's kind of uh, um, really pushing for it. She wants to kind of conquer another uh, female. I know, I know she's like super into the feminist stuff yeah. or whatever, so that's cool. So that uh, look for some more news on that, possibly in the future. Um, what else do we have? Dungeons and Dragons is getting a movie. I didn't even know that was happening. Have you yeah, seen the have. other movie? I haven't they seen have, the other they one. Had one movie. Right? Yeah, for a long time. Ago, like, like, I guess this is apparently supposed to be a reboot. <laughs> so, um, but uh, they're looking to start filming in 2019, in the summer of 2019. I wonder, is it because of Stranger Things making? Ta- I would have tape, to say it so. Would have to be tabletop games, like because yeah. there's a whole bunch of of my people that I know who like out of nowhere are playing Dungeons and Dragons. There's like a resurgence. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Why are you playing this? <laughs> like, like you did... didn't even know about this game until the, like Stranger Things came out. I first heard of Dungeons and Dragons when I watch uh, else 
uh, SLC Punk. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the first time I've ever heard of Dungeons and Dragons at that <laughs> yeah. moment. I never was a, a fucking exposed to that shit. Yeah. So <laughs> when I heard about that, I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? You guys fucking create your own story. You guys <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Throw dies. You guys are, I mean, I'm not. I mean, nothing wrong. Nothing with wrong with that it, shit. Yeah. Like, that's cool. If yeah. that's your thing, this is coming from a guy that likes fucking men in spandex and fucking <laughs> watching them <laughs> yeah. make fight. Yeah. So I mean, boohoo, motherfucker. You know, like. Yeah. But I mean, I never got the concept of it. But I'm, I'm sure, fucking Stranger Things had something to do with that boom again. Yeah, because that's like a huge. It's a huge show, and they've actually started. Uh, Filming again, so I know a while back you said they were uh, they stopped filming because of something I don't remember what season three. Yeah, oh, shit. they had uh, they had postponed production on it for. Um, well, I thought it was uh, they were waiting to make so that everyone would look a little older. Is that what it was? I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but I know that was one of them. Okay, but yeah, they're doing that again. Okay, and it was uh, I think today or yesterday was Stranger Things Day. Really? Yeah, oh, I didn't hear about it. Yeah. Like hot topic and stuff is getting a whole bunch of new like <laughs> pops and shit and of t-shirts course. and yeah. everything. So yeah, um, so look forward to Dungeons and Dragons if you're a fan, and then um, possibly getting an early early uh, 2021 release in theaters. Um, also, in some DC uh, news, Ewan McGregor has been cast as Black Mask in the Birds of Prey movie. Which uh, is pretty cool, I think. Yeah, that's big, big news. Yeah, um, I was actually going to ask about that because I saw a post on Instagram about yeah. it, and I was kind of like taken back. I was like, he does fit that fucking character. Yeah. That is be it. dope. But you would think that he wouldn't. He wouldn't be down for that. For someone it, who's wearing a mask who doesn't show his face <clears> at all. It's interesting because it's like uh, maybe um, what's his name? Jake Gyllenhaal is kind of setting the stage for these serious. Uh, Character like dark character mm. actors coming aboard the superhero stuff yeah. now. After him, I think anything's possible. To be honest, and I'm, now you, yeah, I'm excited to see actually him as Mysterio because I know for a while it was kind of, um, Fucking. it was kind of like is he or is he or isn't he playing? And then we saw the there were set photos released of him. In the costume and everything, without the fishbowl, but um, he better have that fucking fishbowl. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> some, I, some at some point, at the something. end or something. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> a lot of people are saying it, it would kind of be a cop out if Ewan McGregor doesn't have the mask on, at least throughout half the movie. Oh yeah, it's probably going to be an origin movie for him for his character. Okay, um, but he might just be like a you know a guy who's just constantly taking it on and off, and then somehow gets stuck. Well, that, that's all Black Mask is. It yeah. just has a mask on, right? Yeah, he's like it's, a, it's like fused to him, I think, like, something uh, like that. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And that uh, the director, Kathy Yan, is uh, also confirmed that it will definitely be rated R. Ooh. So, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a, big, a big step from her fucking DC. Man. Yeah, that's a big step. I, I, I assume that the Joker movie is going to be rated R, too, with uh, Joaquin Phoenix. But that has nothing really to do with that, you know, that it's universe. It's just like on its Quinn. own, right? It's like yeah. on its yeah. own, you stand alone, mm-hmm. which is good. I saw the fucking, some of the fucking leaked photos yeah. and video that they have. Like, it looks like good. Like Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Something crazy. Like yeah. I was I was really skeptical skeptical about this that whole thing all the way until I saw the, the little trailer that they had, like the test footage. And I was like, okay. But it's kind of scary because they're so everything, they're pretty much, they're not shooting on sound stages too much, or at least not right right in the now. Joker one? Yeah, they're yeah. shooting on location in yeah. New York City, and that's why we're getting so much leaked stuff. Yeah. And it's, so I don't know. It's I guess so because they can't control that stuff when there's people that's what I'm in saying, like buildings like, above them. Recording. Yeah, when you're shooting in a real city, yeah, that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I just hope that we don't see too much too early. Mm hmm. Because I'm really excited about it. But yeah. Um, what else do we got? Uh, so the, the the next four titles for uh, James Cameron's Avatar have been released. Let's hear, let's hear them. <laughs> so we got Avatar, The Way of Water, then Avatar, The Sea Bearer, and then Avatar, The Tolkien Rider, and then Avatar, The Quest for Ewa. Whatever that is. Okay. But it's all Avatar. And it's then, all out of context because we don't know what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, but apparently uh, yeah. he has gone to say that uh, the second and third sequel are going to be based 
a lot to do with uh, the ocean of Pandora. Okay. So going into that part of the world. Cool. Wow. Well, I don't really. Um, I don't really want five movie, five Avatar movies, but I don't know if he could fucking take out. I didn't know he had fucking five movies. Apparently, when he did the first one, he's like, I have like, it, ten it, movies like ready to go. He's like, had that contract uh, for years. It's yeah. just never. He's never really started making the next one. But mm-hmm. but since that came out, he had like that in motion to do uh, tons of sequels for it. But I mean, I don't know. The first one was cool. What but more I, can you have that? But, but I don't. I don't know <laughs> that 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 uh, that it's relevant anymore. Yeah, I mean, it was cool when it came out. You know, he waited too long. He fucked up by waiting too long. Because 3D is kind of out on its way out. Mm-hmm. So that's happening. If anyone was interested uh, about Avatar, probably not. <laughs> um, HBO has begun filming its uh, Deadwood movies. You're taking all my movies. movies. I'm sorry, man. You're taking it all. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got more. We got the, the same swamp. sources. Got the <laughs> now I have some more. I probably uh, I'll skip the next one. But uh, so anyone interested in Deadwood, uh, that that movie is um, shooting right now. So probably in the next year or two, we'll oh, nice. see the movie. I never saw the show, but I think you said you saw it, right? I saw uh, a here bit and of there. there. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah. So there's nothing really. At least that well, the brother, the sister's brothers, I guess. But there's nothing very like Western culture out right, you know, yeah. right now. So it should do well, I think. I think so. With the Red Dead Redemption, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I'm gonna be getting that for my birthday. No. <laughs> um, what else do we got? Uh, so uh, Ridley Scott is taking on a sequel to Gladiator. Wow. Because we really wanted it. Once again, is this relevant? Do, do we really need a, a sequel? Like, how long has it been since that movie came out? 2005? No. no. But no, before that, that was like a 2001. 2000. Yeah. Really? 2000, Holy 2001. crap. That's, that's that was like Y2K. Y2K yeah. That was the first action movie that was on DVD, right? Um, maybe one I of them. I think so. One of, one of the first with all oh, with the Patriot. So like 17 years later? Yeah, because uh, I remember it was that was big when I was in middle school. Okay, or maybe just going in middle school. It's a good movie, but what it hasn't aged very well in my opinion. There's a lot of uh, historical inaccuracies. Mm-hmm. But Joaquin Phoenix is my man. Dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, He's yeah. a fucking really good villain. Fucking creepy, <laughs> creepy ass, and that sicko. <laughs> um, I don't know. Is it going to be with Russell Crowe? Do you know? Uh, he's dead, though. Spoiler alert. Well, I mean, it could, that uh, movie. <laughs> in the, we're in the era of uh, uh, prequels and all kinds of things. I mean, it, he said it's supposed to... It, they could from, do a Robin Hood. Apparently, it's, or apparently it's supposed type. to be a sequel. So, I mean, I'm assuming it takes place after. So, maybe after... So, it's like when they did a sequel to 300 and you're like, why? Yeah. <laughs> Like, what? Yeah. Exactly. It's like, uh, but the, the story's told. It's over know? already? Like, uh, I don't... We saw what happens. Yeah. Um, that yeah. being said, I did like three... Uh, for what it was, I liked 300. I liked 300. I thought it was cool. Um, but, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, um, look up for that, too. Uh, he, I guess they said that he has a whole bunch of stuff um, already in plans. Mm-hmm. Um, so, this wouldn't even happen for another couple years or even get started wow. but um, he has plans for it um, what else a bit of news that I have oh so The Walking Dead is actually coming out with um, some TV movies uh, that are going to center around a pretty specific character I'm not going to say who because it's going to spoil a lot of stuff for people who haven't who aren't caught up I saw that article too and I was like wow you guys are really just relentless on not keeping anything under wraps yeah you know like <laughs> why are you telling us I, ha- these I, fucking... I haven't seen I haven't seen seen the, the you know the last I just watched episodes. it last night I caught up but I read the article and it tells you everything that happens <laughs> and what the movies are going to be based on wow so it's like oh so you know I know what the, I know what's going to happen oh, okay. I mean I know what the movies are going to be about there's supposed to be two or three of them oh shit um and uh but they're they're direct they're directed like they're straight to TV, TV. Yeah. so it's not coming out in theaters or anything like that. But um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna come out with it on like Blu-ray or something because they want money. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I feel like The Walking Dead is is kind of ir- ir- getting irrelevant now. It's, it's kind of it's, getting it's played out. Stale. Yeah. I think. And I think it. that's why.